be allowed to do um, work that was a passion for me. I managed to make my hobby my my living, you know. So I guess you also stopped praying when you were very young and yes. a lot. Well, when I was younger, I did practice a lot, and um, um, I think that um, when I was very young, being able to play three chords on the guitar was um, emotionally enough to produce a very big um, emotion in me. And I'm always relearning that, the power of simplicity. Um, of course, complexity and, and the detail have, has its place, but um, you know the ability to um, uh, not always rely on uh, the punctuation of progressive music that, uh, in a way, relies on complication to um, get its message across. Um, I don't believe that that is the only the only road to Rome. So there are many ways to do that. Do you play music yourself? I used to play the guitar when I was young, yes. I also lived in Bristol when I was with my family. Oh really? <laughs> yes. You're all the same family, wow. <laughs> my mother is a Pole. And she also said next time you come to Italy she's ready to have you as guests. Mm. <laughs> she wants oh, to teach you really? how to cook Italian. Oh really? Oh how yeah. that's very nice, thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And so, as you said, the value of simple things. Yes, simplicity, I think. And uh, I think that's very important today in music. Many, I don't know if many people understand it, but... Yes, because I realize there's a resurgence of interest in, in progressive music. Yes. Um, um, but I wonder if people understand um, the power of um, <laughs> making a statement where it seems as if um, what defines progressive music is music that has a tremendous amount of punctuation in it to break the rhythm. That's why I also think progressive. Yeah. That I think that uh, makes your mind something very, very important to me that uh, has a negotiation in itself. Yes, I think yeah, it's, it's kind of an evolution of music, and sometimes people complain about the evolution and insist that music went, went back to its roots. Yes. And of course, one always explores <coughs> music roots. Uh, the way forward is always to go backwards. It's always the contradiction. Yeah. Uh, I've been very in interested in folk music which um, because of because of that, um, and the best players seem to take the past into into the future. So. Um, um. Okay. And uh, so you are now in the middle of this very long tour, yes. which has taken part worldwide to yes. promote your latest work. Yes. And um, I mean, what uh, are your purposes and expectations when you and your team plan the tour? Well, I've gone back to my my journey. <coughs> Past, um, uh, to re-record many of those things and to play it live with a band that um, um, has, um, you know, they have great capability as, as, as musicians. Um, in, in Genesis, we were very young players and we often struggled to play the I guess music, you were music that we've, we've written. Yeah. We often struggled to play the music that we'd written at that time. And, um, um, it's, it's as if it's you know the past, but revisited in a way. I'm hoping tonight that the screen will work. The, the important part of the show is the the uh, LED screens. Last night they, they didn't work. Uh, maybe something to do with the heat and the computers. I'm not sure. Um, but um, we couldn't get everything working. I was really disappointed. It was actually a very good show because the audience were fantastic and the band played very well. But to be able to have the images up there that um, define the things, the reinterpretation and, and to reinvigorate 
uh, the works of the past are very important to me. Um, the idea of watching the songs, listening to them, and journeying with the songs, so that the, the, the visuals um, relate very much to um, slow motion journeys very often. And to create great environments that, that go with that. So um, it's an important part for me, this visualisation and uh, the visualisation that accompanies the music as well. The music that was never written as, as, uh, as a backdrop to videos. It's not an appendage to the video. It's the other way around. So, um, you know, uh, images that have been created to um, express the music. Uh, has there uh, ever been a moment in your life where you could, when you could have played anything for any sort of reason? And if yes, what were your emotions? <coughs> well, I couldn't play uh, my instrument for a while. I had an accident with my thumb in the 70s. <coughs> and I couldn't play for several weeks. Uh, and uh, I was frightened that I wouldn't be able to um, the guitar again, and um, um, luckily I was able to play, but I couldn't use my thumb to grip at all. I was just playing with the fingers on the fretboard, and I was really struggling to make it work. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so there was a time when that happened, and uh, I think all musicians have to face the fact, you know, like sportsmen, uh, we're lucky if we manage to. Uh, play without interruption, you know, without any biological distraction, if you know what I mean. So, uh, uh, you know, I like to think that I'll be like my my, my heroes, guitar playing heroes, Segovia and those four playing when they're 94, you know, yeah. uh, you know playing up until the, the last year of, the, of the, their life. Now that, to me, uh, seems something you know, incredible to aim for. Like I remember when I, when I played my guitar, I had my fingers aching. I guess that was. Like that. But um, unfortunately, I, I had discomfort for several reasons. Really? Oh. Yeah, and I, I remember I was. I really enjoyed playing the guitar. Why was that? Was that something to do with your Well, maybe it was a bit more for personal reasons. I, yeah, when I came back to Italy, I. I don't know why I made a huge mistake to stop playing the guitar. Really? Uh -huh. I'd love to play again. Yes. But I think that first of all takes a lot of passion and it takes uh -huh. a lot of concentration. So I, I look forward to <laughs> to start playing again. Right. And like with light strings maybe. Sometimes um, if it's nylon guitar, um, the strings can be like the light gauge. Guitaria. Pro arte light gauge strings are very easy on the fingers, um, and then with an electric, um, I use very light strings. Most people use um, heavier strings than me, but I use um, 08s, you know, so it's super slinky. Yeah, you used to have a very small guitar because it wasn't small. Yeah, less Paul shape. You used to have a small. You, you had a small guitar, you said. Yes. And then, I, when I bought the electric guitar, I used the Yamaha. Right. But, yeah, I, I still have one. Right. I still have one. <laughs> well, the most important thing is to enjoy it. Uh, I don't know how, whatever that is, to, to make it a pleasure instead of a, a test. You, know, you can get pleasure out of playing certain things on the guitar. And, uh, I actually derived more pleasure from the guitar when I played simple things when I was very young. Uh, but all the fast runs and everything in, in later life. Because I think the more technique you have, in, in a way, uh, the, more, the more passion you erode, the more, the more technical you make your playing. You know. There's a secret of trying to find some kind of middle ground.